that's when you kind of screw up with the wording, but you know, it's nothing major. <coughs> over hill, over dale, we have hit the dusty trail, and those caissons go rolling along. In and out, hear them shout, counter march right about as those caissons go rolling along. Streaming live on WHITradio.org from High Tech High School in North Bergen. New Jersey. It's the Triple Decker Show. I'm your announcer, Max, and now your host, Ahmed. Good afternoon. I'm your host, Ahmed, and with me today right. is Maxwell. Behind the glass is Skippy. Just keep going back and, forth. and today's topics are 10 high school boys are arrested, and we're going to explain why. And LA police seek officer involved with shooting. So, Max, let's start with the 10 California high school boys arrested. And the reason they were arrested is because in alleged sexual assault of two girls. So, 10 boys ages 14 to 17 were arrested Friday on accusations of unlawful sex acts against two underage girls for more than a year on and off the campus of Venice High School, authorities said. Eight of, eight of nine male students were arrested on campus and the other was taken into custody off campus, police said. One suspect turned himself in. So, you know, this is another crime act that, that's going on, especially, you know, with high school kids. And this, you know, this is just definitely wrong. There's no reason something like this should be happening. And it said it's been happening for more than a year. So I wonder why the girls, you know, didn't say anything. If it's been happening close to a year, I mean, for more than a year, that's that's pretty, you know, insane. Yeah. Um, I think this is really ridiculous. Um, even, like, sexual assault on an underage girl happening, like, being caused by underage boys yeah. as young as 14 years old like like right off the line sexual assault is a giant no-no mm. but for underage high school students yeah and 10 of them like and two girls I think that's really that's a giant problem like something must be going on in their like lives or something, mm -hmm. something must have given them that mindset to make them think that that is okay to do. Yeah. And for a year, those girls didn't speak up. Yeah, but why? I what actually led to that? I don't know. Maybe they were, like, tricked into doing it and they figured out it was, like, and they realized it was wrong or something. Yeah. Like, I teenagers are naive, but, like, mm -hmm. this is really ridiculous. Yeah, this is, honestly, when I was, when I on this article, I couldn't believe it, like, you know, over a year, and like, 10, especially the ages of the boys, you know, from as young as 14, you know, that's, when I read that, I couldn't believe that, like, 14 years old, that's, you know, it's barely anything right there, and the school says, whenever there is an issue about student safety, we'll do whatever we can to ensure that the behavior is stopped, and LAPD detectives, detectives, yeah, they've identified a total of 14 people, all, obviously all between 14 and 17, who was who allegedly sexually assaulted the two female Venice High School students multiple, multiple times. So obviously it's been going on, you know, more than once, or over a year. So now, Max, let's talk about an L.A. police, L.A. police seek officer involved with shooting. Now the Los Angeles area police are su searching for one of their own in connection with a shooting death Saturday after finding an odd lead. In the pre-dawn darkness, a shooter and a victim apparently struggled and witnesses reported hearing gunshots. A compact car was seen rushing off, and the 23-year-old later died at the L.A. hospital. Investigators looking for clues discovered something about three blocks away from the scene of the slaying in Pomona, California, a second abandoned car. It belonged to a rookie Los Angeles Police Department officer. So a huge thing right there is he's a rookie. And obviously, maybe it could be that, and you know, he's not, he's not found yet. It could be since he's a rookie, he didn't know. Maybe he was really worried. He was worried about losing his job, like even going under, you know, being a suspect or something like this. You being a police officer, just starting to work there. Yeah, but like first off, why did um, why did why did the officer shoot him? Do you know the name of the man who got shot? The guy who got uh, Salom Rodriguez Jr. Yeah, it's his name. The guy that got shot, and he was 23 years old, and he eventually died at the LA hospital. <clears throat> okay, um, and they don't know why he shot him. 
So far, no. Uh, they began looking for Officer Henry. So the guy, the police officer, is Henry Solis, to question him in connection with the killing. But so far, he has not turned up. Solis's whereabouts is unknown. We have reason to believe that he knows the police are looking to talk with him. So he, yeah, and the LAPD is helping them look for him. Solis, who is still in his probationary phase, was off duty when the killing happened, and has not reported back since. Police have not said how Solis may have been involved in the killing. So they don't know how he put, he was off duty. That's another huge thing. So he was off duty when this happened. So they never saw him shoot him. All they did was see, um... The, yeah, but they have reason to believe he's involved in the, in the shooting. So because that's his car. Question. Because his car was there, right? Yeah, abandoned car. Okay. Which they found obviously good. Um... I don't know what to think of this because, like, there's, like, there's not a lot of, like, information and yeah. anything. So, like, anything could have happened. All we know is that the police officer might have killed someone. Mm -hmm. uh, well, like, there was, like, a, he could have been framed. Yeah, and wait, do you... Like, someone stole his car and you, he shot Do you someone. think the police officer, what he did, how he just ran away, that's obviously a bad move, right? Yeah, but it might not have been him. Maybe someone. Yeah, but why would he run? If he's guilt, if he's not guilty, you know, why would he? Why would he run away then? If he knows police are looking for them, for him, I mean. So why would he try to avoid them if he knows he's not guilty? Well, he did. Well, it says that he did shoot him, and that yeah. he doesn't want to face the consequences. All right. So, and what do you call it? Something about the man that got shot, Salome Rodriguez Jr. So residents have built a memorial to. Rodriguez, a trucker, at the street corner where he collapsed. Sunday afternoon, they held a vigil and played his favorite songs. They said he put God and family first. He was just sweet. Sandra Soto told KTLA he was my best friend. So obviously, he's going to be dearly missed. And, you know, to die at such a young age like that. So as the story develops, you know, until we find out the reason behind the shooting, we'll, go, we'll revisit this topic a different day. Okay. So as of right now, thank you for watching, and thanks to our panel, Maxwell. I'm Ahmed, and this is the Triple Decker Show on WHIT Radio.org.